you've got uh, mitered joints and you wind up with a little bit of a gap this is birch there's a quick trick here i'll show you wood glue and just using um this is a feeler gauge but something that's just just enough to get right into the gap and i'm going to push wood glue into here and then i'm going to sand the edge and that'll push the sanding dust right into the mitered edge and it should it should make it disappear unless it's too wide these are pretty small they're uh like a 30 second so there's another way to do this um, that works pretty well and that's taking like a edge of a screwdriver and pushing these uh, fibers bending them into each other um, and that'll be a fallback for me, but initially I'm gonna do do it this way, and then after the, the wood glue dries, then uh, I can always still do that, or I can add more glue. Um, you can also mix up sanding dust with the same wood and wood glue and use that as a putty, well, um, like technically a wood filler uh, with the same sanding dust that you, you collected from sanding the same wood. But also there, there is a gap here, so I'd like to get glue in there uh, before I turn these, these edges over. Pushing the excess up into the gap. Now one thing that does by pushing it in is it kind of also pushes it out. So you want something that's slightly thinner than the gap. Wipe off my feeler gauge and then just give this a quick wipe to get that excess off. And then come in with uh, sandpaper. And you're just creating a little bit of wood dust, sanding dust. And it should mix in with that wet glue. And you can see it disappears. Now when it dries, you might have to hit it again because sometimes this dries darker or you still might have to bend in the wood fibers with the edge of a screwdriver or a burnishing tool and just kind of run it back and forth um, with light to medium pressure. So uh, yeah, pretty quick fix for miters.